Hello friends, I am Neha and once again I welcome you all to my YouTube channel about technology. So in our today's video tutorial we will be discussing one of the popular topic in networking that is difference between TCP IP and OSI model. Initially we will discuss both of the model in detail and then we will discuss differences between them. So let's proceed with the video. OSI stands for Open System Interconnection Model that was introduced by ISO that is International Standard Organization in late 1970s. One of the most important thing about this model is that it is totally a theoretical model that facilitates communication between different open systems. However, it is a seven layer model that includes application layer, presentation layer, session layer, transport layer, network layer, data link layer and physical layer. And each of the layer has a well-defined function that we'll discuss in the slide ahead. As it is a theoretical model, it was never implemented to establish a network. Now let us discuss about the layers of OSI model. As we know the model has seven layer and each layer has a well-defined function. So the first layer through which the user interact is application layer. This layer facilitates the user that may either be a human or a software to access the network. Next is presentation layer that is concerned with the syntax and semantics of information that is exchanged between two communicating systems. It translates, encrypts or compresses the data that has to be exchanged between the communicating systems. Next is session layer. It establishes, maintains and synchronizes the session of interaction between the communicating system. Next is transport layer which is responsible for process to process delivery of entire message. Next is network layer that is responsible for source to destination delivery of packet. Next is data link layer. It is responsible for encapsulating the data received from network layer into frames. And the last is physical layer that is responsible for transmitting bits over medium and to provide mechanical and electrical specifications. Now let us move on to TCP IP model that stands for transmission control protocol internet protocol. It was funded by Defense Advanced Research Project Agency that is DARPA. In some books you might find it as a 4 layer model and in some books you might find it as a 5 layer model. TCP IP is a protocol suite that consists of large collection of protocols. However, it is the most used model for networking. It defines set of rules for communicating over internet. Now let us discuss the layers of TCP IP model. First is the application layer which is combination of session layer, presentation layer and application layer of OSI model. It enables the user that can either be a human or a software to access services of private or global internet. Next is transport layer that manages process to process delivery of packets and error checking. Next is internet layer which is equivalent to network layer that identifies the path that packet has to travel to reach its destination. Next is Data link layer that encapsulates data received from network layer into frames. And the last is physical layer that is responsible for transmitting bits over medium and to provide mechanical and electrical specifications. Now let us move toward the differences between OSI and TCP IP model. OSI stands for Open System Interconnect whereas TCP IP stands for Transmission Control Protocol Internet Protocol. OSI is a theoretical model used for open system communication whereas TCP IP is a practical model used for communicating over internet. OSI is a 7 layer model whereas TCP IP is a 4 or 5 layer model. The network layer of OSI model provide both connectionless and connection oriented service whereas network layer of TCP IP model provide connectionless service only. OSI model is developed by ISO that is International Standard Organization whereas TCP IP model is developed by DOD that is Department of Defense. OSI model is tangible model whereas TCP IP is a non-tangible model. OSI model has horizontal approach whereas TCP IP model has vertical approach. OSI is never implemented whereas TCP IP is mostly used model. So this is all about differences between TCP IP model and OSI model. For more details you can refer our official website techdifferences.com. I have provided URL for the same in the description below. Please like and share this video with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel about technology. 
Keep checking the channel for further updates and put your comment and queries in the section below. We'll be back again soon with a new video. Till then, take a good care of yourself.